Hi! In this video, we'll introduce Super Carol. So we've been using Carol in all of our programs, and I love Carol. Honestly, Carol, great dog, knows a lot of cool tricks, but uh, oh yes, here we go. Carol is evolving. I've been waiting for this for so long. Finally, Carol is evolving. <gasps> Carol evolved into Super Carol. All right, this is huge. This is awesome because Super Carol can learn new moves. So introducing Super Carol. Super Carol has turn right and turn around already defined. So from now on, we'll be using Super Carol instead of Carol. Carol has evolved into Super Carol. And with Super Carol, we can call turn right and turn around without having to define them first. They're built in. Super Carol already knows these commands. So these are the commands that Super Carol knows. Super Carol knows move, put ball, take ball, turn left, turn right, and turn around. Now you may have noticed I snuck that word API up into the top of the slide. So let's cover what exactly an API is. Introducing APIs. So an API, an application programming interface, is just a set of tools for building programs. That's what an API is. So what is an API? It's an application programming interface. That's what it stands for. And that's not that important. What is important is what it actually means. An API is a set of tools for building software, which is just another word for programs. So a good API makes it easier to develop a program by providing all of the necessary building blocks. And these building blocks are then put together by the programmer. That's you. So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You've actually been programming in a language called JavaScript this entire time. You've been writing JavaScript functions, JavaScript comments, full JavaScript programs. And JavaScript is a full professional language that is one of the most widely used programming languages in the world. And how does this relate to APIs? Well, Carol is an API. Carol is an API built in JavaScript to make it easier to build cool programs quickly. The Carol API abstracts away the complex details involved in getting Carol the dog to move across the screen. There's a lot of complex things going on to get a picture of a dog to move across the screen, but we don't have to worry about any of that. We just have to type the JavaScript command move, and the Carol API takes care of it. And the Super Carol API is even better. The Super Carol API is the exact same as the Carol API, but it has some new additions. In addition to abstracting away the processes involved in getting Carol to move around the screen, it abstracts away the details involved in getting Carol to turn right and turn around. It used to be that we had to define those every single time, but now those are built into the API and we don't have to worry about how those work behind the scenes. So this is the Carol API. An API is the building blocks we can use. So these are the commands Carol knows. Move, put ball, take ball, and turn left. Those are our building blocks. The Super Carol API is the same, but we've added turn right and turn around. So one more important point with APIs is documentation. Documentation is an important part of an API because it provides information to show the programmer, that's you, how to use it. So if you haven't checked out the Docs tab yet, this is where all the documentation is for Carol and Super Carol. So if we go to the Docs tab, we can see documentation, all the information about this API, how to use it, and the proper syntax, things like this. So that's the API documentation. So that is Super Carol. Turns out it's been JavaScript the whole time, and from here on out, we'll be using Super Carol. So let's see some examples of programming in Super Carol. So here we have a program that we wrote earlier, Hurdle Carol, and we're going to turn this Carol program into a Super Carol program and show how that's done. So I'm going to run this once just to remind you what this program does. Carol jumps over both hurdles. But we see now that we're not using Carol anymore. We're using Super Carol. So in addition to move, turn left, put ball, and take ball, we're also able to use turn right and turn around. Those are built into the API. So to turn this into a Super Carol program, all we have to do is get rid of our personal definitions of turn right and turn around and use the Super Carol definitions. They're, they're already defined. We don't have to redefine them. So here, instead of defining turn right, you can just get rid of this. And here, these turn right commands, instead of calling our own turn right, they are the actual Super Carol turn right. And now that we've deleted turn right, let's try it again, let's see if it still works. So notice that Super Carol doesn't actually turn left three times to turn right. Carol just knows how to turn, Super Carol just knows how to turn right the normal way. So turn left, move, turn right, move, turn right. So. That is Super Carol. Super Carol has turn right and turn around already built in, and we'll be using Super Carol from now on.